The L stands for the word light. Sixth grade, could you say light, please? Light. We're loosening our vocal cords for the laser show. That's what we're doing. Okay. The A stands for amplification. Seventh grade. Amplification. Awesome. The S stands for the word stimulated. Eighth grade. Eighth grade get stimulated. Good job. The E stands for the word emission. Sixth grade. Emission. Awesome. And the R stands for the word radiation. Teachers. Radiation. I, I caught them off guard. They weren't expecting that. Good job, teachers. Uh, my name is Dr. Chris Volpe. I'm president and uh, co-founder of Prismatic Magic Laser Programs, and we specialize in using lasers as an outreach tool for uh, mostly for students from kindergarten to 12th grade. We visit about a thousand schools a year nationwide. We're actually the largest traveling science assembly program in the country, but we've never been to the Northwest. And uh, we're here in Bellingham thanks to a pilot project that we're, we're working on with, uh, with SPIE called the Laser Roadshow. And uh, we've been doing a handful of shows over the last couple days at some of the local elementary schools. We're here at uh, Fairhaven Middle School. Um, and doing these, uh, these outreach programs that we call the Laser Roadshow. Hi, my name is Michelle Casabula, and I'm the principal here at Fairhaven Middle School. We just got done with an amazing performance by Dr. Chris here, sponsored by SPIE, our local organization in our own community, and I'm so excited about the deep connections. This is a perfect example of science content that we learn in sixth grade, seventh grade, and connected to the eighth grade science content. And it's great teaching. It, it takes um, experiences of kids' everyday life, connects it to what they're learning, and then the broader world. So amazing performance, Dr. Chris is top-notch. Well, it's a lot of fun. It's really exciting because with our laser shows, we fuse the science and the technology, obviously, with uh, music and art. So we get a really high energy response from the kids. They're uh, intrigued by the science and the technology, but they can't help but sing along to the music, and it's a lot of fun. It really brings it together. Environmental engineers use lasers to measure air pollution over cities. In Greece, history conservationists are fighting the effects of air pollution. They use lasers to clean the surface of the ancient Acropolis. In England, archaeologists use lasers to map Stonehenge, revealing detailed carvings never before seen in the ancient stones. In Germany, biologists use lasers to study the genes in DNA. In Arizona, a physicist uses lasers to destroy viruses without harming healthy cells to help cure disease. In New Mexico, weather researchers use lasers to actually create lightning in thunderstorms. In California, scientists use one of the world's most powerful lasers. The laser is more powerful than 10,000 lightning bolts and is used to understand fusion power, a new and clean form of energy. Doctors use lasers to perform safer surgeries. Firefighters use lasers to see better in smoke-filled buildings. Rocket scientists use lasers for welding in lighter aircraft. Athletes use lasers to measure their performance. Airports use lasers to warn pilots about restricted airspace. Police officers use lasers to find speeding cars. Meteorologists use lasers to predict wind and weather. Grocery store clerks use lasers to read prices from barcodes. Dentists use lasers to whiten teeth. Astronomers use lasers to study other planets. We all use lasers in our computers, in our laser printers, in our DVD drives. Right now, there are more lasers on Earth than there are people. 